This is Andre of Big Gemini Kennels, aka BGK. Welcome back. Smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, drop a comment, let us know what you're thinking. Make sure you hit that alert button so that you're notified every time we drop content, and that's gonna be frequently because we came to drop bombs. Beast mode. Hey, what's up, YouTube world? It's Andre BGK right back at you. Today, we want to talk about feeding your dog the best possible food mixture that you can provide to your dog to get the best results out of your dog, right? Now, there's a lot of people that go back and forth on what's a better option as far as dog food. They say kibble, they say raw. Now, I personally know that all dogs are the descendants of wolves. They're carnivorous by nature, they're carnivores. And what that means to you guys is this, they are destined to eat meat. Their whole life's purpose, if you look at their teeth, is to eat meat. Now, the reason kibble was ever introduced, and a lot of people don't know this, it was actually introduced during the Great Depression because of a lack of table scraps. They didn't have table scraps that they can give out to their dogs anymore, so they wanted to give them a less nutritional, more feasible, cheaper option, meaning they're gonna mix a bunch of bullshit in together and make some kibble, and then that's what you give your dog because you're not gonna give them the table scraps off of your table. You need that. The economy's declining. With that being said, most of the time, even the best kibble, and I love kibble, but the best kibble still lacks the same nutritional impact that you will find for meat. Meat has proteins, nutrition, there's calcium inside of the bone and the bone marrow, and that is the reason why you cannot duplicate that with kibble, right? If I got a handful of kibble right here, and I have a steak in this hand, then you know that one of these hands has something that's more valuable and it's most likely going to be the steak, right? And that's why you'll find that on our plate as well, right? So with that being said, I absolutely believe in raw and I feed raw. I prefer chicken quarters. I like to feed them the thighs, the drumsticks. It already has the bones, so it has a good breakdown as far as the ratio goes because your mix should be like 80 to 20% of that, 80% meat, 20% bone and organ. And I'm not going to go too deep into that, but that is definitely the basis of a great dog food. Now, if you have to go with a kibble, which I still use kibble, and you'll see me supplementing with kibble in this uh, video right here, um, I definitely prefer Victor. I like Taste of the Wild. I like high-end grain-free. I know Origin is good. And uh, some of the diamond brands, I use some of the diamond brands. They're actually really good. But with that being said, most of the time, that's just a supplemental thing for me. I'm mainly feeding raw, right? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I mix up the supplement with the raw in the kibble and putting this all together. This is what I raise my puppies on and this is how they start. Now, I usually graduate them to a, a more raw diet. In this video, you'll see how we put it together. What I'm gonna do is show you the easiest way to thicken your puppy up. This mixture right here, combined with the big dog supplement, never fails. I'll give it to the moms. I give it to the, the growing puppies. I give it to them young. Now, technically, you're probably not supposed to do it at six, seven, eight weeks old, but I've had great results doing it and I use it the second I can. Okay, let's get to the good stuff. I'm about to show you how I actually prep a kibble raw combo and then add in my supplement, the big dog supplement, and you can see the results and you can see the way the puppies respond to it in real time. Now, the first thing I do is I go ahead and I grab a couple a couple scoops of the kibble and I add it into the food bowl. After adding the a couple scoops of the kibble, I'm using a grain free, this is Victor right here that you're looking at. After I add that into the food bowl, I will go ahead and add in some either raw hamburger or our specialized BGK meat, which is not for sale right now. I'm just letting you guys know we have it and that's what we use. So we either use this raw hamburger or BGK specialized meat and we'll add that in on top of the kibble. Now we're gonna take the raw hamburger and we're gonna distribute it all over the top of the uh, kibble. We're gonna distribute it evenly across the top of the kibble. And the reason why we do that is we wanna kinda embed it into the kibble. If not, the dogs love the raw hamburger so much they might just pick it out and, and chew the hamburger up without getting the kibble that we're putting in the bowl as well. Now what we're gonna do and what I do is I put one tablespoon per pup into my food. Now that's a little bit more than it says on the back and I know that's what it says on the back and that's what it's supposed to stay on the back and you should do the feeding instructions on the back but this is what I personally do. I put one tablespoon per pup and when I do that I go ahead and I sprinkle that over it 
and I'm going to put water over top so I can mix this all together. It helps me blend the food together so that it's evenly distributed. The, the kibble, the meat, and the supplement is all evenly distributed throughout the medium. So what I do is I get in there with my hands, get in there, and take my hands and move it around until I have a good even mixture for these pups. And after I have that uh, mixture for the pups, I go ahead and take it over to them and they know every time. Look at look at Gambino and Nikita in the cut. That's them watching me because they know. They've seen this ever since they were little. They got the same thing. So they over there licking their chops even though I'm making this for the pups and not them. But um, anyway, so whenever these pups see me coming with this, they go crazy, man, because they know what time it is. It's, 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 it's supplement and food time. And I've seen explosive results off of this combination. It's um, raw with a supplement that contains everything that you need. Uh, if you don't know about the Big Dog Supplement, look it up. We have every single ingredient you can imagine. One thing that's unique about Big Dog Supplement is most of its ingredients are human grade organic quality. I'm not gonna give you the list for the Big Dog ingredients, but it's dope. So now you have this meat mixed in with the with the kibble, mixed in with your supplement, and you mix that in with the water, you mix it down, give it to the pups, and they're gonna go crazy and kill it. And the good thing is they're getting a great, great dose of growth and development. They're getting a great, great dose of health and immunity. It supports gut health. It cleanses the intestinal tract. It does a lot of great things. So if you feed them this on a regular basis, I guarantee you will see superior growth and development and you will see superior results in their health and immunity, which is good because you want them to live long, happy, healthy lives. Now, somebody asked me, why do you want to make bigger dogs? Why are you trying to make dogs bigger? And I guess the name Big Dog Supplement can be misleading because we have a premium brand that's coming out for Frenchies and uh, other dogs as well. Frenchies, Golden Retrievers, uh, German Shepherds, you know, our premium mix is going to be really dope. But the main thing that it does is it helps your dog reach its fullest potential, its maximum potential. It's not going to make it bigger. It's going to make it reach the max potential that its pedigree allows. It will allow it to reach the max potential instead of just giving the basic kibble and getting the basic results or giving just raw by itself without supplement and getting some basic results. Combine them and see how that really impacts the growth of your dog. I've done this over the years and if you see the different dogs that I've developed, yeah, genetics definitely plays a role. We are dealing with superior genetics. I'm not going to deny that. But also this supplement and this feeding routine adding in the raw and gradually graduating from this type of raw to just full raw chicken quarters hamburger give uh tripe organs liver heart you want to give them all of that man so that's something i highly recommend if you want to see the best results in your dog either do raw and kibble as a mix with the supplement or raw in the supplement either way that will be the best feeding method to get the best results out of your dog every time nothing beats nature nothing i've always said there's two ways to look at it it's either effective and ineffective and this is the most effective method i found in the last 15 years to help my dogs grow and develop at a rate that is impressive and really really crazy and honestly the results speak for themselves if the puppies love it if your young adults love it and you're feeding it to them and you see the way they respond to that raw mix then you will understand this is designed for them just to be clear, I'm not saying that you can't feed your dog simply kibble and not have a great looking dog that turns out to be amazing. You can't. But I'm saying if you want your dog to reach its max potential, this is the feeding method right here. Okay, so that's the BGK way. You see how those puppies love that, man. They love it. And it's like that every single time. That's not like just for the camera. That's every single meal, every single time they clean that bowl. You know, the supplement also has a great flavor that it adds into, so that's that's another thing that gets them inside that bowl. But besides that, they love that meat. And the reason why you see me mixing that meat in so thoroughly is because they will pick that meat out, especially when you got that supplement mixed on top of it. That has been the way that I've developed a lot of the big, great looking BGK dogs that you've seen over the years. That formula right there, that recipe right there is a staple. I do not go without it. I always mix in the raw hamburger and later on graduate them to the raw chicken quarters and so forth. But I still supplement with kibble, so I'm not saying don't use kibble. Kibble is a good thing, but this recipe I just showed you, including the big dog supplement as well, will get it done. If you want to see your dog beefed up, if you want to see your dog maximize growth and development, if you want to see health and immunity boosted in your dog, you want to see a good shiny coat, healthy dog, just really putting on that girth and that weight, 
this will do it for you. Now, I had somebody kind of criticize me in one of the comments like, why do you want to make the dogs bigger? I'm like, I'm not trying to make it bigger. I'm trying to help your dog reach its maximum potential. There's a difference. If you have a fat dog running around all over the place looking sloppy and fat, then you have a fat dog. We're not here to do that. We're here to grow the biggest, healthiest, in shape, functional, great looking handsome dogs possible. And that's what the big dog supplement is based on. And this recipe combined with it, it gets it done, guaranteed. If there's anything that I didn't cover in this video or anything that you'd like to see me cover in upcoming videos that you haven't seen me do yet, please ask, I'm happy to do it. I'm always looking for different ideas to, to go ahead and give back to the community and share what I've learned and whatnot. So with that being said, any ideas you have for upcoming videos that you'd like to see, then pop them out for you so you can check them out. BGK, and I'm out. Last sidebar, I want to let you guys in on something we've been working hard on. We have the BGK app. Yes, the Big Gemini Kennels app. We're launching. It will be available in both the Apple Store and Google Play within the next three weeks. We're very excited about this. Go ahead and download it. It will be for free. It will be for the free ski. So yeah, it is the BGK app. Not only will you find information about the XL American Bully breed that you won't find anywhere else, you will also be able to get coupon codes for BGK merchandise, our big dog supplement, and anything else that we're doing, including breeding and puppies, right there on that app. I promise you, anything exclusive that BGK has going on will only be on that app. So that will be the way to tap in with us and keep in touch. If you want tips and tricks as push notifications coming to your phone, if you want to see what's going on with us, if you want to learn more about the XL American Bully, we have one of the only unique apps you will see that is dedicated to the XL American Bully, the BGK app. Download it. Search out BGK or search out Big Gemini Kennels. Thank you. Three weeks, it's live in three weeks.